Hello once again everybody, this is Playing With Moe with another video game gameplay video. This time it is Maple Story for the PC. Huh, that little intro's new. But that one's not. <laughs> anyway, uh, so yeah, this is indeed Maple Story. This is an MMORPG for the PC, like you didn't see that coming. Uh, and probably going to be my most personal gameplay video because uh, this game was such a very big part of my life uh, a few years back. Yeah. Lots and lots of good memories tied to this game, so yeah. Alright, as you can see, my login name is already in there. Uh, I totally didn't log in before. <clears throat> um, but yeah, that's that's my login name, the Wii Dude. Please don't hack me! Alright then, so moving on. Okay, so once you log in, then you're greeted with the server select screen. These are all the servers. Uh, there are all sorts of crazy named things, and uh, I don't know what else to tell you except that. So yeah, I'm going to be picking the Scania server because that is indeed my server. Uh, that's what I used to play on when I used to play this game so many, many years ago. Uh, it's like a fleeting memory or something. But yeah, as you can see, I'm going to be connecting to channel 1 and it is taking forever. Okay, there we go. Alright then, I'm going to just go ahead. See, these are, you can have up to three characters. So I'm going to create one. Now this character type thing, uh, this actually confused me at first, but... Um, now, what it is is that originally there were only four different classes. As you see here, there's the uh, warrior, the archer or bowman, the magician, and the thief. Then there was later on there was a fifth class called the pirate. And they added that one in uh, I don't know, a couple of years later. Um, and then they just decided to uh, come up with a whole new character type called the Cygnus Knights, Cygnus Knights, whatever you want to say, I don't really care. Uh, and these are all sorts of different uh, um, jobs as well. They're not really called classes in this game, they're called jobs. And then there's these, the Aran, Samus, Aran, okay. Uh, and yeah, I, I don't really know uh, much about any of these, the Knights or the Arans, so I'm just going to go with the tried and true classes or jobs. The original five, whatever it was called, the explorers or something, I forget already. Anyway, I'm going to name my uh, little dude here. This is my dude here. Uh, once you give him a name, you can then change his information. I mean, his look. Information. Yeah, you can change his birth date and stuff. So, yeah, I'm going to change his hair, his eyes, skin color is fine, his shirt. Now, these clothes that I'm giving him right now, these are basically, these are equips. They're not like just for show kind of clothes, because there are those kind of clothes in the game. But uh, I'll get I'll get to that later. But um, yeah, these these are equips: the uh, shirt, the shorts, the shoes, and the weapon. In which in this case, it's a sword. But uh, it really doesn't matter at this point of the game. Uh, no matter what you make him look like, it's all the same, really. Alrighty then, so we're just going to hit OK, and sometime soon it will scroll me down there. Now, originally, there was a dice rolling thing that would give you random stats for these four here, Strength, Dex, Intelligence, and Luck. But now they made it, like, really super simple for beginners and newbies and crap. And they just basically gave you the stats, like, handed to you. I don't know if the music's loud enough, because I love this music. I love this title screen song. I don't know if it's loud enough, so I'm just going to bump it up a little bit alrighty then so yeah uh, as you can see lots of strength here uh, and that's very important for the beginning of the game because you're gonna re be relying on strength and I will explain that in just a bit after I put in my pin code which you're not allowed to see alrighty then now that I've created pin code it's off to uh, the maple world and uh, this little like picture thing this was never originally in the game when I was playing I don't know what the hell they were thinking, like, putting this in. Though, at, at one point, uh, a few years later, after I had, like, really stopped playing the game, or a year or so after... Oh, hey, look, there's people here. Okay, weird name. Um, uh, what was it? You know, I'm just gonna switch channels, just in case, because, you know, I don't want to get bothered by people. God, no. Um, but, yeah, I, I mean, I'm not trying to be, like, a prude you know, jerk about it, but I don't really want to be held up by anything. I just want to get this done as, you know, as quickly as possible so that people don't get bored. But yeah, uh, what the heck was I saying? Oh yes, right. Uh, they, they had a little, like, training field sort of thing that they had done before, uh, going into this place. Uh, originally it was just like, they would just, like, dump you off in this map and then you'd have to figure out what to do, but then, uh, eventually they started adding little things like this to make it more obvious and help you figure out how to play the game. 
Now, there is this game is mostly grinding, um, but there are a few things you can do uh, aside from grinding to get experience points, and one of them is the quests, and that would be this. Uh, this is a quest from this person, Hina. She, this is the quest name, Hina and Sira. And, uh, yeah, basically she just talks to you. Um, and then basically gives you some information, you know, in the beginning of the game. And, uh, yeah. Okay, so I complete, I accepted a quest. Apparently I completed it. Uh, but actually I completed the first half of this quest. Oh, God, what the crap? Okay, that's, uh, that, that's new. Anyway, she wants me to go over here and talk to this person. And I get 5 EXP for that. See, right down there. Now I'm 33.33% closer to leveling up. Sweet. Alrighty then. Hopping on over. I love the, I love the little jump noise. I don't know if you can hear it too well. Sounds like a little water, water drop or something. I'm so glad that they didn't change too many things in this game. Oh, I didn't have to go back and talk to her again. Okay. So yeah. Uh, basic attack uh, is with control. You can set up your uh, keys with the... Um, I'm sorry, what was it? The... Uh, game option, I believe it was. Okay, never mind. I, I know it's the, uh, the forward slash key. That's just what I usually use. And then, you know, here's all your keys. You know, here's everything that you can do. and Helps you figure out how to do stuff. And alright, Anthony, move on, because you're being boring. Um, oh, and, and really quickly, I just wanted to, uh, oh, okay, thank you for telling me that. Um, I really wanted to quickly talk about this little downward jump thing. This may seem very simple, but originally this was not in the game, especially not when I was playing. Uh, it used to be only that magicians can do it. Uh, they would get a skill later on after level 30 called teleport, and you can teleport between masses of land, but then later on they just said, oh, let's help the beginners out and just give them a downward jump between land masses. Um, needless to say, that pissed off the magi ma ma magicians a lot. Uh, myself included a little bit, not too much. I was kind of annoyed because it was like, teleporting's our thing, what the hell? Okay, so apparently this guy just like knocked out half my HP, but this is part of his quest. He wants me to open up the items and use the apple he just gave me. And that refills my HP completely. And then talk to him again. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty dang simple. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Alrighty. So yeah, and I get 10 EXP for that and a couple apples. And that levels me up. And so once you get level up, uh, you can up your stats and your skills. Uh, your skills, you get one point for the first time you level up after you get your first job. Uh, and then after that, it's three points. Uh, so I'm going to just put on the recovery skill. And that gives me, recovers eight, 24 of my HP over 30 seconds when I activate it. I'm going to put it on the shift key because that helps. Yes, I want to save my changes. Um... And so, oh yes, and when you level up, you can also bump your stats up. But right now, this is where the stats would be. But right now, see, it says, um, stats of the beginner, noblest legend are increased automatically in accordance with the characteristics of each job until the first job advancement or until level 11 is released. Reached. Ah. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, me. Okay. Um, so anyway, that weirdness aside, um, the thing about them saying level 11, I'm just going to skip a few of these quests because uh, I, I really don't need to be doing all of them. I guess I'll just do this one. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, um, the thing about level 11 is that uh, for the explorers, I'm not sure about those other classes, the knights or the, uh, the other guys, the Arans. But uh, uh, for the jobs, uh, warrior, thief, and bowman or archer... Uh, that's that's achieved at level 10, and you have to go to a different town to uh, get those jobs. And so basically, I'm just going back and forth here. Um, basically, uh, you know, that's at level 10. But uh, for a magician, you get that at level 8. All right, another level up. Okay, so apparently with the beginner, you only get one skill point per level. So I'm just going to put it on recovery again. All right, we're moving on here. Alrighty then, back to the snail garden. Apparently, like, they tell you, like, what map you're at now. They didn't usually do that before, like, um, when you'd go through portals and stuff. Uh, now this is just, like, to help beginners figure out how to attack and stuff. Like I said, it's control. Uh, these guys won't hurt you, because it's the beginning of the game. Those guys are actually called Junior Sentinels. They are much later on in the game. Not too later on in the game. But, um, they will indeed hurt you if you're level 3 like I am. They will kill you in one hit. Do, do, do. Oh gosh, that was some lag. Yeah, 
Alrighty then. So as you can see, uh, I'm now grinding. Uh, I'm killing some snails. These are uh, one of the many, many, many monsters in the game. Um, basically, once they die, they have a chance of giving you money, which in this in this game is called mesos. Those are those coins. Uh, and they can also drop different items or equips as well. They can either be useless or not so useless. Like, uh, usually when these guys die, they give me a snail shell. And there's a potion. That'll give me back 20 of my HP. Yep. I know. I remember way too much about this game. At least, you know what? I'm just going to make sure I know what I'm talking about. Oh, it's 50. Oh, interesting. Okay. Okay. So apparently I don't know too much about this game. I forgot. Now, what's all this here? Now, why was I suddenly transported to Amherst? This is different. There used to be, like, five different maps that you'd have to go through before getting here, but apparently they just decided to make it really simple. 